Brr, it's really chilly. Since we're in the middle of our spring season snowstorm, we're gonna skip the beach and hit the slopes. Come on, let's go do some cross country skiing. Our cross-country skiing trips here at OA take you to a park at the Castle Peak Trailhead. We ski in the valley for a few hours and then head up to the ridgeline to eat a scenic lunch. After a day's worth of skiing, you may even fall asleep during the car ride back. In order to crush the slopes, all you need is a pair of skis with bindings, ski boots, poles, and warm layers, although you can count on needing to take quite a few of those off as you go. Sunglasses are a must because of all that snow. When you go cross-country skiing, you ski a range of terrains and go both up and down hills. My favorite aspect of cross-country skiing is that it's self-powered, meaning you get a really good total body workout. Furthermore, you get to enjoy the winter wonderland and giant pines. While winter sports aren't my area of expertise, it seems specificity training is really the best approach for the sport. This isn't an option during the off-season. Good question. I'm glad you asked. We'll focus on calisthenics that simulate skiing the best that we can. The first exercise is plank skiers. I mainly picked this one because it has the word ski in it. That said, it really is a good workout to incorporate in your regimen because while it offers all the abdominal blessings of a plank, it adds the aerobic benefit of panting. Plyometric exercises, or jumps, help develop explosive power. They also improve balance and stability. We'll start with a classic jump lunge. Keep your front knee in line with your ankle and make sure your back is straight. Ski jumps are another good plyometric exercise because they mimic the motions of skiing. Make sure to land on both feet at the same time. We'll finish up with some core. Knee to elbow push-ups are a fun modification if you're getting tired of boring old regular push-ups. They also bring back that aerobic component. You may also try a clap push-up. Finally, Russian twists are my all-time favorite for core. Challenge yourself and see how many you can do consecutively. Thanks for watching and remember to fit that cardio in. I'll see you next time.